Hello everyone! Welcome back for more of Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game for the Game Boy Color. The first thing you will notice... Well, you may not notice it the first thing, but the first thing you should really take a look at is let's look at this deck that we've been handed. Because there is a severe problem here. And that if you look at it, we've got a very bad energy spread, really. We've got 10 fire energy, 8 lightning energy, and 6 fighting energy. Because, well, that's the way the deck is set up. We have some fighting, we have some lightning, and we have some, uh, lightning, electric, and we have some fire types. Generally with this game, a strategy tip for everybody, you will want no more than two Pokemon types in your deck. Very few good three and four uh, type decks are out there. At least as far as I know. Especially way back when this game was made. You really were best settling on one, one main type and then a secondary to just kind of fill in for weaknesses a little bit. But unfortunately with this deck, you're split up between Th you're split up three ways, and your energy count really suffers for it. So one of the things you really want to do very, very quickly is manage to get your hands on some better cards. You get your hands on better cards by fighting trainers and winning booster packs. You can also get booster packs... Not randomly, but after you do certain things, you can come back and check the computers, much like you do in normal Pokemon. You can read mail. And Dr. Mason's already sent us an email. To just kind of generally, you know, talk to us here. But he's going to talk to us about the booster packs we need to get. Yeah. Yep. Then this is pretty sound advice. If you find a booster pack that has the cards you like in it, and you find someone that you can beat that gives you that booster pack, yeah, you want to keep battling them, because they will keep giving you that booster pack. Yeah, card pop. Something for actual physical cartridges and Game Boys that I can't do. I don't actually know anyone that actually has this game for a physical console. I do, but you know. But here's a booster pack for us from the good doctor. And what we get? We get a Scyther, who is a very, very good type there. I like Scyther. He may not be the best in this game, but yeah, I still like the Scyther Pokemon. Good Pokemon to battle with. Professor Oak. Discard your hand, draw seven cards. That's a good trainer card. Charmeleon, Radicate, Staryu, Abra, Pikachu, Diglett, Jigglypuff, Water Energy. Now see if I'd gotten some electric energy. I may even swap that into my deck. But not yet. So anyway, one of the major problems we have, we have no real variety of energy. And these guys around the lab are not a ton of help here, except for one particular guy right here, Aaron, who will duel you to test your deck. Yes, he'll give you a booster pack that it only contains energy cards. And yes, we would like to duel him. I'm going to duel him once, because, well, once is enough for this. And we can either pick Lightning and Fire, Water Fighting, or Grass Psychic. And truthfully, all three of these are very, very possible to beat us at this point, because our deck is too spread out. But we're going to fight the Grass deck. And hopefully I'll get enough energy I actually need. Let's see, 
we have Magmar, Ponyta. Then we have one fire and a lightning and a fighting. Fire Punch doesn't take any extra, but it takes two fire for Ponyta down. Magmar play. Nope, I am done for the moment. And I go first. And another pony top. Good. We will need we will need back up here. Let's start by giving you fighting energy or fire energy. I can do. Not yet. I do not have a growler. Okay. Yeah, I need two. Okay. Whoops. Did not want to. Did not want to do that. Ah. Huh. Only get to use that once, huh? No damage. And he's stuck never being able to use that again. Good start. Magneton. I don't have the... I don't have a way to use that. Wait. I want to see something here. Okay, it doesn't take any actual... Doesn't take any uh, energy to use that. It doesn't burn any energy, I should say. <laughs> Teal is far fetched. Rattata. Okay. Put you down. Weedle. Lousy. Hot smash. Ow. Oh, okay, that's not a bad draw for me, really. Yeah, I don't have anybody ready to go. Yeah, don't really want to, but... I need somebody able to fight. Lightning, lightning. There's a Growlithe. What else do I have? One more fire energy. Good. Okay. It's ready to knock this guy out. Now we're going to lose Ponyta here. Almost lose Ponyta. And we're going to lose Rattata there. Darn it. Waste of energy. Check the play area. Two. That's anything. The low kick. 
Okay. Now one thing's for sure, I will not be out of Pokémon ever. Oh, let's see, and... Can't do anything else, okay. down a Pokemon to start that out with. Freaking Pot Smash. Oh, this is bad. Just in case we ever manage to get the thing I actually want. No wonder he's short. Okay. He's only short one, though. Fire energy and fire energy. Ooh, good one. Okay. Let's get you ready to come in. Okay, nothing else to play? No. That psychic. I finally got it. For my chop. Yeah. 
Well, I almost did it. I almost knocked out that thing. And that'll finish it off. Darn it. And that wasn't even close. Yeah. So now you know what I'm going to be doing between videos. I'm going to be dueling him a lot. Mainly because I need extra energy cards. I need some I need some more fire energy. I need some more lightning energy and I need to get rid of the uh I need to get rid of the uh fighting cards in my deck. So, now that you've seen what I'm going to be up against for a while, it's time to call this video. When I return, I'll have beaten this guy a few times and gotten a whole bunch of energy from it. I hope. Take care, folks. See you next time.